just uh, just inside Tennessee um, is this nice little uh, rest stop welcome center. All of us RVers come in and get to walk down to the, well, this is part of the Tennessee River, uh, but this might be an actual lake part of the Tennessee River. I'll go check it out. I'm going to be looking for some boondocking later today in either Tennessee or Kentucky. I'm not really sure, but in case you're wondering why I'm not stopping in Knoxville or Nashville again, I, I was there last year and I filmed extensively and I want to do something different this time. So that's why I'm just going to explore more natural settings on this trip right now. I think I found an old uh, historic village here in Cannonsburg, Tennessee. Only a couple miles off the highway. Let's go check it out. There you go, Cannonsburg Village 1776. Kind of a cool little iron gate there. I'm not sure what, what creek is running right through here, but it does look pretty cool. We're just getting a little break here in the rain. It's a 50% chance of rain today. So obviously <laughs> before I even fed Jax his lunch, I'm just gonna go on foot and check this place out. It says visitors, photographers must check in at visitor center. A free permit will be issued in the village is available. Hmm. Well, let's go make sure we check in first. All right, I checked in and registered my photography with the front desk there, so I'm all good here. Uh, Cannonsburg is the original name of Murphy's Borough. Minnows Cannon was a prominent early area settler and father of Newton Cannon, the first Whig governor of Tennessee. I really like the walking trail here. They do take donations. This is the grist mill here, right on the creek. Gordon's schoolhouse. Oh, I would like to go into some of these, that's too bad. The 1900s telephone building. Yeah, they needed a whole building. The university house. Here is town hall here. An ash hopper is what they call this. Essential to every family in the days when soap was handmade. Oh man. Here is a wind glass well. This model is mounted on poles next to the hand dug well. The windlass 
model was normally used as a family pump and not as a community pump. Look at the uh, wood mixed with the concrete, or mud, or whatever they used. Oh yeah, there's the outhouse. It says, the term outhouse is used in North America English for the structure around a simple pit toilet. The term outhouse may also be used for any small building away from the main building, used for a variety of purposes, but mainly activities not wanted in the main house. The smoke house. That's where you keep your meat. It's starting to drizzle, so I'm just checking the lens. All I need is one raindrop on the lens and I don't notice it, and then everybody's just gonna be like, there's a drop on your lens, Eric. I'm not going to walk through here and read every little plaque for you guys. This video would be two hours long, but it's neat to check out. Okay, well this has to be the church. It's the Williamson Chapel, right. Oh, those are some original steps of the Rutherford County Courthouse. Neat they saved those. You can see here, big uh, windmill. It says wells and windmills, so, oh wow, now that's <laughs> an interesting way to gather your water. Hmm. Water looks clean and clear down there though. Here's a village loom house, which is a one room log cabin. Really, too bad I can't see inside these. I wonder if there's even anything in there. All right, guys, if you're a classic tractor junkie, you just might have a tractor gasm in this little outdoor museum. Well, we'll start off right here. This is a 1929 McCormick Deering. Look at all these tractors. I guess, yeah, and here's all the John Deere's. I guess you can just keep them outside because, yeah, not gonna rust anymore, right? Very cool. I'm also a big fan of these uh, old signs and stuff like that. Obviously, I can't collect stuff like that anymore on the road, but. Oh yeah, nice. I've seen uh, the boys on American Pickers find some of these old gas things. <laughs> They've actually left a lot of these houses in their original condition just, you know, kind of fixed up, which I think is neat. They haven't modernized everything yet. Now go back in the RV, feed Jax, make lunch. And, yeah. If I find any more of these places along my travels, I think these are more desirable, you know. It doesn't cost $50 to get in, donation based, and you still get to see a bunch of history. What? Meow. Excuse me? I, I, I don't speak cat. I don't... You, you wanna go outside? Meow. Oh, you do? You wanna you want go outside? Let's go outside, Ty. Don't you wanna stretch your paws? You wanna stretch your paws? Get those pesky birds, Jax. Get them. Get those birds. You do realize I just fed you. You don't have to eat grass, right? Are you hunting? Oh, okay. Okay. I, be I believe you, man. Yeah. Well, what are you hunting for? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to help you. I don't know what the mission is here. You could, you could flop. What? Is there birds out there, Jax? Is there birds out there? Are you stalking birds? Yeah. I've been putting a lot of miles on today, I know, but I'm not in a hurry. It's just that I've already taken this exact same route a year ago, so that's why I'm not going to hang out in that downtown Nashville. However, if you haven't seen that video and you're interested and want to check it out, I'll put a link to last year's uh, Nashville video. But I just got into another state, my third of the day, Kentucky. Actually, maybe you could count it as the fifth because we actually dipped back down 
into Georgia when we were on I-24 and then came back up in Tennessee. <laughs> but yeah, this is Kentucky. This is the uh, Southern Kentucky uh, Welcome Center rest stop. Uh, some of these rest stops allow overnight parking or eight hours or it says please limit your stay to 12 hours, whatever. Yeah, I didn't see anything written here, so that's why I went inside and asked him. And he said, no, no overnight parking here at the Welcome Center. So, okay, you get back on the road, find somewhere to boondock tonight. Perhaps not one of the quietest places to boondock or with a, a great view or anything, but it's certainly going to work. I'm about uh, 40 miles from Paducah, Kansas. Going to get there tomorrow. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to get there tomorrow, not film anything, take a whole day off, and then I'm going to get into Missouri the next day. So get back with you guys in a couple days. Have a great night, guys. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.